I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people asked about the sort of team we played against, and I was just saying to Craig, you know, there's never, there's never a right answer. If you play a too strong a team before the first week, people said, you know, it's like a test match. If you play a too easy a game, people say it's one-sided. So, you know, for me, the most important thing was there's no injuries. Uh, we got to try things. We got everyone an opportunity to get on the field. You know, I'm saying that people say, what do you get out of games like this? Individuals played well. You know, units played well. You know, uh, combinations played well. At times, I think the whole group played well, you know, as a, as a team. So, you know, when you tick all those things off, then you realise that, you know, there's a lot of things we got right, and I'm, and I'm obviously very chuffed about that. I thought, again, you know, the way we played as well is obviously there's a message there. You know, it's not the same old, same old uh, South African style rugby. You know, I think it's the way you're going to play if you're going to play Super Rugby. You know, you're not going to, you're going to have to score four tries a couple of times. You want to get some bonus points. You know, and, uh, you know, one thing about this group of players, and obviously it's, it's a bit of a mindset as well. We've got good players and we all know that. You know, we, we, we spoil for choice in terms of the spring box we have. So we can actually, at least we can be a little bit more daring than most teams. You know? And I think that those sort of games and the, and the opportunities that they got out of tonight will be fantastic for them. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll see there were a couple of times we ran out of our 22. And that gives confidence, you know. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is, it is, it is exciting because I think now teams will be, it'll be hard for them to analyse exactly what we're going to do in different parts of the field, and that's, what, that's the position you want to be in. I think if you look at the scoreline, I am worried, um, but then again, the second half was, I think, almost 14 all or something like that. I don't think there was a big margin. I think the guys in the first half was, uh, but big eyes, self shock with that start, and they, they took the. The wind out of the guys, and if you've got you know guys there that hasn't played at that level, and they see or they get that kind of pressure, they're gonna that's the, that's that gonna be a massive uh, uh, learning curve for them. You know, um, the feedback that I got from from behind the post was that the guys are really quiet, and uh, you know I think they realised the the tempo of the game and and the quality of the opposition, and I think it took them a, a while before they really you know. Acknowledge what where that are. So, so again, that that's what I don't want in three, four, five weeks' time. So all the all the youngsters out there, you know, um, I think uh, has picked up that experience. We will obviously, hopefully, be better in our first in our first phases. You know, um, with a guy like with the experience of Franco there and, and and so on. So I think you know Julian will also be um, very good in this trance for us. And, and then once Ruan Dreyer and those guys come back, hopefully our, our set phases will be much better. Um, but I think in general, you know, what we saw tonight is is, is there's still a, a lot of work on. You know, because a lot of these guys are going to be involved in, in super rugby, and and, and um, we're just going to take out the positives out of tonight and keep working on that and I mean if you if you let 50 points in obviously defence is one area that you have to address so there's definitely going to be a work on